these things are ugly they are so ugly they're so bright um, it's very big and, and very heavy uh, and I'm a tiny person which doesn't help as well it is so annoying to clean if you're doing your shopping get all your facts right don't do what I did <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the biggest regrets that I have when it comes to baby purchases that I made. I think every parent has a few regrets along the way. Um, so if I can help you to not make these mistakes, then maybe I will. Um, babies can be expensive. You have to buy them a lot of things. And I think as you go along, you realize, okay, in hindsight maybe I wish I hadn't got that or I wish I got something differently and so even though this video is technically called things that I regret um, I have made it a point to make the most out of all of these things I don't like letting things go to waste I don't like letting money go down the drain at the end of the day so um, we have used all of these things we still do use a lot of these things um, it's just that you know if I could go back in time and make those choices again maybe I would make them differently or you know going forward uh, next time round we would not make certain choices if we can but so, some things we're kind of stuck with now so uh, anyway before I do go into this list I would just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos and you haven't subscribed yet and if you are new here hello and welcome um, I'm Chrissy I'm Maltese and I make motherhood and lifestyle kind of videos so if that sounds like something that you would be interested in watching go ahead and subscribe to my channel and without further ado let's get straight into the list to make things easier I'm going to go kind of in order of price starting from the lowest going up to the most expensive and the first thing that I'm going to talk about are baby clothes um, I never got a lot of clothes I knew that babies don't need a lot of clothes they grow really quickly and we had a baby in a pandemic so there really wasn't a lot of need for clothes but having said that um, there are two specific things that I wish I didn't get so much of and one of those is um, white baby grows or body vests or body suits whatever they're called um, they they stain so easily. Uh, they stain very easily with poop and baby poop is like bright yellow and it re it's really hard to get out. Um, and also even later on with food, uh, you know, it just white stains really easily and babies go through laundry like a lot. So um, it's just a real pain in the butt to clean them and to get them out. And the other thing, which I think is probably more important, uh, especially with the newborn stage, is clothes that clasp from the back. Um, before we had Ben, we had gone and bought a few clothes and we got some pyjamas, and I think especially pyjamas. Uh, some of the ones that we got clasped at the back, I have one to show you. We use this now, it's fine now that Ben is older, we don't change him at night anymore, but th so this is one that we use for him now. It clasps at the back, it's got four clasps down and then three clasps at the side. His bum is under here, so to change him you have to pull this down past his bum, you have to unclasp these, uh, pull the legs out, and when you have a crying baby in the dark, in the middle of the night, that is really, really the last thing you want to be dealing with, especially newborns, they can't support their head weight, they, you know, they can't support their weight at all, so you're trying to hold the baby, unclasp the thing, and they're kicking, and so yeah, when we had used those at the beginning, we were like, we made a big mistake getting some of these. So we started keeping a lookout for how things close and open rather than just how they look because that really needs to be a priority, especially when it comes to um, newborns and nighttime changes. The next item on the list is um, s specifically this one, the car mirror that we bought. Um, obviously Ben is sitting rear facing and so we did get a mirror so that I can see him and he can see me when I'm driving. Um, I don't know the name of the specific one but I'll put a picture of it here. Um, honestly, I don't know if it's a design flaw or if it just doesn't go with my car, um, but it does not stay well it's very flimsy it's it was hard to uh, strap on and every time there's a bump in the road and we're in Malta guys there are a hundred bumps on every road <laughs> um, the mirror moves down so every time I get into the car I have to stay repositioning it every time I put Ben into the car I hit it it moves so you know I wish that I got um, a better one I haven't bothered to get another one yet but um, I do wish that uh, we had a more sturdy one 
the next item on the list uh, is the again the specific baby bath that we got for Ben this bath we use it still so this is what we bathe Ben in um, and it's okay it's good it does the job but um, I have never felt comfortable to bathe him alone um, even now that he's sitting I mean he's standing alone but even now um, that he's much more sturdy um, I've never felt comfortable to bathe him alone it is slippery uh, the newborn um, attachment that there is to use at the beginning I really didn't find it helpful at all and I did come across many other baths for babies um, that seem like they aid you much more, uh, that they hold the baby much more safely. This, I mean, again, it's okay, but um, after having bought it, I, I said I wish I did more research and I wish I looked around a little bit more um, because I've never felt safe to, to bathe him by myself and I still feel very paranoid uh, using it. So even though now it's much better, especially for the first like five, six months, it was really really uncomfortable to use it the next item on the list is the baby bouncer that we got um we were hesitant to get one he doesn't like being in containers in general so we didn't think that there was any point in getting it um i'm glad i did get it because i mostly use it while i'm on the loo like i put ben in it in the morning while i'm on the loo or brushing my teeth doing my skincare routine which i have a video to you know just in case you want to watch that i will link it um here i think that's where it comes to on the screen um but yeah so i do use it but um first of all one of the things that i hesitated about was these things are ugly they are so ugly they're so bright and annoying and loud and i mean we we remove the batteries from the musical section because we really don't like those kinds of things um but when we were kind of looking whether to get a walker or a bouncer we thought okay with a walker he's probably just going to be ramming into furniture all the time so we want to avoid that so we got a bouncer but in hindsight um i wish that we maybe researched a bit more and looked around a little bit more because if he's in it and i need to move to a different room or i want to move to another side of the room or something you cannot move it while he's in it so i have to pull him out, lift it up, drag it. You, you can't actually like physically drag it on the floor because it, it's not got any rubber underneath or wheels. Um, and you cannot lift him up inside it because there's no comfortable way to do that without hurting yourself. And also it's heavy and impractical. So um, I wish we got something that does have wheels, but wheels with a brake or something that you can keep it static, but also that it moves around. So that definitely, definitely something that I wish we had done um, but we didn't so we're kind of stuck with this one and it's okay the next item on the list is the baby carrier that we got we got the i want to get the name right the ergo baby adapt carrier um it's not really a sling um and there are a few reasons that i wish we didn't get this one again i do use it now now that i actually can because he refused to be in it for the first few months um but First of all, I must have misunderstood the sales assistant when I did get it. I thought that it was a front-facing one. I thought that it could also be a front-facing one. It has multiple directions that you can put the baby in, so it's good because you can have them facing you, you can have them on side, and you can have them on your back, as far as I know. Uh, I thought that it was also a front-facing one, so to have the baby facing forward. Ben loves to look out, to look forward, to see what's going on, um, and I obviously can't use it that way. That is one of the reasons. The other reason is, even though it says that you can technically use it, if I'm not mistaken, from newborn, but from a certain weight, which he was when I got it, so I thought, okay, we're good to use it from now. Mm, it was not really comfortable for him. He was too small. He's a small baby. He was a quite a small baby. Um, his head was completely hidden, and he wasn't comfortable. He was kind of squashed, you know, to me. And um, it just, even though it was adapted for his weight or whatever i don't think that it was actually quite right and he refused to be in it and even now he will only stay in it as long as i'm outside and moving if i am static for more than like a minute he just loses his patience he doesn't want to be in it i can't use it inside um while i'm doing things in the house he just doesn't 
accept to be in it at all so that obviously does come from him rather than from the swing itself the carrier itself but um, I don't think that it's really adapted for smaller newborn babies and it doesn't face front so you know if you're doing your shopping get all your facts right don't do what I did <laughs> because I regretted it and these things are expensive <laughs> And I had actually tried to sell this because I gave up on trying to use it, um, couldn't sell it. And then at some point I was kind of desperate. I just wanted to go and buy milk. And I was like, let me try. And he stayed. And that's when I realized like, okay, he's okay to stay in it outside. But he was already about four months old at this point. So um, he had grown quite a little bit by then. The next item on the list, this is a big one. Um, our high chair. We have the... Uh, Kiko Poly Magic Relax high chair um, and again we use this every day we use it still this is what I feed him in um, there were reasons that I got it and when I was pregnant I was looking into things that are as long term as possible so a lot of high chairs start from six months plus um, I really like this because it has uh, it's suitable from newborn and up so um, the seat can completely recline. It also had a little bracket with some things dangling off it to keep a newborn entertained. You've seen this in my videos. I've shown it a lot. I, I put it on. I put photos on Instagram a lot. So um, um, go follow me there if you haven't followed me yet. Um, and so we do use it, but here's the big but: um, when it comes to weaning and feeding, it is really not the right fit um, and I'll tell you why first of all um, posture wise it doesn't help your baby uh, again Ben is a small baby which makes this even more like I find that a lot of things really aren't catered for smaller babies um, uh, which is fair enough like but you know it's annoying because you can't do anything about the size of your baby um, babies need to be 90 degrees sitting and then their legs need to be 90 degrees and they need to have support on their feet the way that ben sits in this he's slouched back and he has no support on his feet his legs are stretched out straight because his feet don't reach the bar yet um and it's really not good for his posture i'm constantly propping him up and like i have to pull him up from his bum so that i get him sitting forward but then he kicks and he falls back attacking my tree <laughs> he kicks and he falls back again and it just really isn't good, um, especially at the beginning of, of weaning when you're really paranoid. I mean, I still get paranoid about him choking, but when they just start and they're gagging and they're throwing up and all of this stuff, you really want to make sure that they have optimal posture um, to help them prevent choking. And I really don't think that this high chair cuts it, unfortunately. And another reason, and this is a huge deal, it is so annoying to clean. A lot of high chairs are just wipeable it's really easy this uh i i mean i don't like bad mouthing things it's not like you know it's a it's an awkward thing to talk about but i want to be honest here completely honest um it's really really annoying to clean it has a lot of folds and nooks and crannies that food gets into and my god at the beginning food is everywhere other than in the baby's mouth okay like in, in our case there is much more food smothered on the high chair and in all these nooks and crannies then there is actually going into Ben's mouth so um, it's a real pain in the butt to clean and uh, I don't really like using it and also it does take up quite a bit of space like it's you know it's not the sleekest of high chairs so if, if that's um, something that's important to you as well um, I would definitely say that those are three things to like three reasons to not get that high chair but for a newborn like to get them used to being at the table with you to keep them entertained just so that they can be part of the family uh, meal time as well that's great so pros and cons pros and cons and the last item on the list this is again another big one um is the three-in-one travel system that we got we got the abc design salsa 4 uh, complete three-in-one set and Again, this is a total pros and cons situation, which depends a lot on your financial situation, on your lifestyle and on your personal preferences and capabilities, like your, your own physical uh, abilities and whatnot, because um, three-in-one sets are heavy. 
and I knew this but I was obsessed with this set it was one of the first ones that I came across and while I was pregnant and I fell in love with it and I'm telling you I fell in love with it nothing else like I, I didn't even want to look at anything else but I did I forced myself it's like with the wedding dress but that's a completely different situation because <laughs> I bought two wedding dresses that's another story um, when so I did force myself to go around and look at other travel sets and other push chairs and prams and high, uh, car seats and all of this stuff and there is a massive pro to having a three-in-one set, which is it is convenient. You have the car seat that goes into the uh, the, the wheel structure thing, uh, which is great. Um, the pram would be good. Ben hated the pram. He just didn't want to be in it. So we hardly ever use it. So it's hard to give my input in that respect. Like he, we really didn't use it more than a few times. Um, the car seat adapter we did use quite a bit up until he was about six months just just a bit over six months old we would use that instead of the push chair but then when he was old enough to be in the push chair um that became a problem because um he's heavy in the car seat you can't keep carrying the car seat around so then we started using the push chair i think i'm going around in circles um but it is very very heavy and it takes up a lot of space so like if you want to go shopping right um you have no space in the back of your car because there's this massive push chair taking up all the space also if you want to bring it in and take it out very inconvenient uh because it's again it's it's so big you, you need to find somewhere to keep it um so what we ended up doing also i have a wrist injury which i've mentioned before i've been over five months with this injury doesn't look like it's going to get better anytime soon and this um this push chair situation really didn't help uh, because i was just hurting myself so much every time i tried to get it out or in from the car and to open it to close it um it's very big and, and very heavy uh, and I'm a tiny person which doesn't help as well um, so what we have ended up doing is we now went to get recently we bought a lightweight stroller which also has its pros and cons um, so if I'm honest if I had to go back in time and start this whole purchase all over again I don't really know what I'd do I think <coughs> I've been talking too long um, I think I would probably get a three-in-one set that is lighter or maybe i would get one of those like there are the car seats with the wheels that come out uh, and then i would get a semi lightweight stroller maybe i think that would be like the ideal just because the car seat adapter is really convenient especially in those first few months um but now the lightweight stroller i use every day it's compact it's really ideal i fling it open and close it with one hand while ben is on the other in the other arm and it's really really ideal what it isn't ideal for is when you have like uneven flooring um and again we're in malta so uh, pavements are one thing but if you want to go like somewhere off-road kind of thing it's much better to have a sturdier one so what we're doing now is on a daily basis i use my lightweight stroller um but when chris and i are out together or i'm out with someone else and i have a bit of help um i do use the uh the abc one uh, especially if we're going to be somewhere where the road is a bit uh, the flooring is a bit uneven um, or I need to carry a few things so we need more of a weight capacity in the um, the basket underneath um, but yeah I mean uh, again I wouldn't say I regret getting these things but I definitely think that well, I definitely know that going back if I could start all over again I would have made different choices absolutely this I mean some of these things especially like this three in one set they are not cheap at all and granted it wasn't the most expensive set but it was one of the pricier ones that we looked at and you want to get something sturdy you want to get something good quality but at the end of the day there is much more to consider also you want to get something pretty i know i know because i fell in love with it and people told me to think twice but i didn't <laughs> but anyway um i i just thought that i would share all of this stuff maybe it will help you and by all means if you are currently in the process of making these choices and you would like some opinions um or some you know personal experience or advice do get in touch with me i would be more than happy to help you and let you know my thoughts and with that i will say that this is the end of this list i hope you have enjoyed it i hope you enjoy this kind of video let me know if you do enjoy this stuff so that i will do more um 
and yeah any other kind of content that you would like to see from me do let me know uh, i love to make you happy and i love to share anything that might help you in any way at all so definitely be sure to get in touch with me and let me know your ideas and what you'd like to see thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video until next time bye